We're going guys, uh, Hoops here with another video. I'm just out in my shed today and I wanted to, uh, I've seen a couple of videos of these guys making these little, um, it's kind of like a rocket stove, but it's, uh, they call it a hobo, uh, hobo can fire type thing. Seem to be making heaps of hobo things lately, the hobo reels, the little handheld fishing reels which I've uh, put up on my videos for uh, my subscriber. Uh, prize giveaway, but yeah today. I'm just going to make a little uh, little stove Out of this uh, old Milo can and uh, I'm gonna cut it all out and drill it and I'll uh, take you through the process and show you how I make it Right, so I um, you would have seen the hyperlapse. I would have uh, I just drilled out these holes. What I did is I uh, took a measurement of the outside circumference, and then I just divided it by eight, and uh, that gave me the measurements for these holes. So they worked out about 50, 50 mil apart. And yeah, I just <clears throat> done them about an inch down from the top, and I did eight down the bottom, about an inch up from the bottom. So well, um, I'm gonna just try now and use this spade bit. Uh, even though it's mainly for wood, but I'm going to see if that will uh, drill these holes out bigger and we'll go from there. Okay, no. Alrighty, so using the uh, <clears throat> spade bit wasn't such a great idea. So in the end, I ended up just uh, using the holes that I drilled out and just got my snips and just uh, circular cut them out. So it's not the prettiest, but it'll do. And then same as the middle one, I ended up uh, making the grate on the front and uh, just cutting them out with my snips as well. So you'll see there now I've got all the holes around the outside and the bottom edge and then I've also got the grill out the front and I put one in the bottom so I'm just going to put some legs on it and uh, we need to just put a little bit of a shelf in there and um, that's pretty much done so we'll uh, see what she looks like in a minute alrighty so you'll see here I put these four little screws in and that's for the hold the legs on there and uh, yeah they they uh, sit up about just a little bit above this, uh, these two holes, or these holes. And you'll see here I've drilled two little, little holes on the side here. And I've made just this little, um, it's just a mesh. You get buying in rolls, we can use chicken wire, but I've uh, stitched those two together. And that's gonna go in through here, and each one of these ends is gonna poke out through these two holes and then back on itself. So that will sit up about that high. And uh, that's just a little basket for your fire to go on and then you've got brief uh, air to come through here and then your ash can fall down into the bottom once it uh, gets going. So uh, just put this wire mesh in and then I'll show you once it's done when it's finished and we'll fire up. Alrighty, there we go. So it's all finished good enough. And like I said inside, I just placed a few pieces of mesh if you can see that. Just zigzagged the cross and I just pulled them out of those little two holes I drilled and looped it back in on itself uh, in four corners. It's a bit hard to see, but you get the idea. So now I'm just gonna uh, light her up and uh, see how she goes. I've just got my uh, petroleum 
and cotton wool buds. I made myself a little pair of pliers just to pick it up and transfer it into here once it's uh, going. And then I got my uh, Z Custom knife uh, that I'm going to use and my ferro rod. Uh, this one's from Outdoor Huntsman Australia. So he made that custom for me and this one's from uh, Z Custom Knives on Instagram. up. I might put this one fluff it out and then uh, just put that one inside the canister as well so that catches up. in around the back side here just get playing around and there we go <laughs> we've got a nice nice flame plenty of airflow and uh, yeah we'll let that cook off a bit and burn down and yeah works a treat Alrighty, she's uh, throwing off some heat, I'll tell you what. You can see how big that flame is too. It's got some good airflow. So uh, yeah, you could or, uh, boil some water or something up on it. Uh, maybe next time I'll do another video, but yeah, I just wanted to show you a quick one on how to make this little guy. It didn't take much, just a couple screws, a uh, pair of snips, marker pen, bit of mesh and a tin pretty much that's it so yep yeah, that's it now I hope you uh, learned a little bit and uh, just obviously be careful when you are cutting these uh, bits of tin you can cut your fingers pretty uh, on some sharp edges and stuff like that so you just obviously got to uh, take care maybe use some gloves but uh, yeah it's a pretty simple little thing you have it outside and it's uh, provides just a nice little fire perfect for uh, taking camping with you and boiling up water or uh, putting a pan on and having a bit of a cook up so yeah anyway uh yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace out stay moist